Hey guys, today I'm going to make a video about my personal journey getting a hair transplant in Iran. I'm very nervous. I hear a lot of rumors how there are sanctions. It's hard to get access to certain medications here. But also, I've heard a lot of things that doctors in Iran are really good. Because there's a huge population of people here, there's always surgery going on. My biggest insecurity has always been uh, thinning hair. So I'm in the light right now. I want to show you guys my hair. Again, my hair is thinning. It's not, I'm not losing hair just yet, but um, it is thinning. This procedure, the doctor told me they're going to do a full hair transplant. So it's going to be on my sides. It's going to be more at the top. Hopefully I'll have a nice full hair. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I mean, I do know what to expect. I've done my research, watched tons of YouTube videos. But I haven't seen anything of somebody getting a transplant in Iran. It's hard to get a visa here but for $300 in Iran. Let's see how my hair transplant will turn out. Hey guys, so I made it to Tehran. Tomorrow morning is my surgery at 8 o'clock. I'm really scared. I'm Procedure. I'm here in Tehran. I'm really nervous. My heart rate is beeping to extreme levels. I don't know what to expect. I'm in Tehran, a foreign country. Inside the doctor. So 12 hours later, I finished the procedure and I'm feeling really good. Uh, I got a little bit of a panic attack because when I looked into the mirror, I saw all the blood on my head and I was just freaking out. But um, they were able to give me really calming medication, which helped a lot. Uh, the procedure itself was totally painless. Um, there was just a little initial sting with a shot uh, when they did on the back of my head and the front to do the extraction and the implants. So every day they're making new ways and methods to improve on hair transplantation. At the time that I went, there was the FUE and the FUT. Now the FUE is the follicular unit extraction. That is the one that I did where they took each hair piece by piece from the back of my head and they had implanted in the front. They had done about 3,000 grafts on me. If you guys don't mind me here, I was just under so much medication that I was kind of uh, high, but um, I was feeling pretty good. This is about an hour after the procedure, no pain. I was feeling great. I was laughing and I uh, had a nice dinner after. So this was about a day after my transplant surgery. As you can see, there were some scabs building up, but it was pretty good. I had to spray my head with saline every other hour and sleep upright for the next two weeks. I had looked at a lot of videos about people's face swelling really bad, but mine was just a little bit on the forehead after the first day. So I was feeling like it's not gonna get any worse than this, but who was I in for a shock treatment because I was. So when day two arrived, I looked like a completely different person. My face was so swollen. I could basically rob a bank and get away with it. <laughs> like, it was very interesting to see myself in that proportion. So when day two arrived, I had just remembered that I had to continuously spray my hair uh, with a serum. So I got my hands on the serum, even though it was low in stock. And also my doctor recommended I put some vitamin E oil on my head. Apparently vitamin E helps the regrowth, but I was kind of overthinking because I put a lot and it just became so thick. I was worried that maybe my roots would not be able to breathe and I would lose grafts. So overthinking is definitely part of the process in this stage. And by day two, I can start using light baby shampoo with the water to spray on my head to clean it. So when day three arrived, my face had swollen a lot more. My eyes were so hard to see through. Uh, again, this is painless, so don't be frightened by these pictures. Um, it was just funny looking at myself. 
I did put some ice pack on the swelling to help it kind of uh, reduce. I was very happy with my new hairline. I was excited. Um, even though I look miserable here, <laughs> I promise you, I was excited. Um, the blood scabs were was getting thicker. I was a bit concerned about that. As you can see, the back of my head was healing just fine. But um, I did my research and it's pretty normal. It will fall off on its own. This is day four, no pain, just um, a lot of scabs building up and I just wanted to pick on it so bad, but I didn't. Hey guys, so it's day six. My head is looking good. Doesn't itch as much. Now my reaction was completely different than a lot of people's. My head did not itch at all, which was kind of concerning me in the beginning because I know that from my research, itching is just a sign of uh, healing, but <laughs> my head was not itchy at all. I was playing with puzzles. By week two, uh, I still had a lot of scabs. I did not touch the scabs. You're not supposed to ever touch the scabs. This is like religiously, you have to just let it fall off on its own. I was prescribed vitamins and antibiotics um, and pain medicine, but I never took any of them. By week five, I was feeling great. I was shedding a lot of hair in the three months, but after four months, it was kind of finding its place. Hey guys, so this is six months after the operation. As you can see, it's starting to grow in. The hairline looks really good. I'm really happy with the hairline. The hardest part of the surgery was being patient. If you're somebody that's out a lot, has a social life, friends, people around, they're gonna know you had a transplant because unless you hide under a rock for a couple months because um, you're gonna be shedding a lot of hair. So you're either gonna look like you're losing more hair or you're gonna look like you just shaved your head off and had a really bad haircut. You have to sleep uh, com uncomfortable for two weeks. You, you really just have to sit, sleep sitting up. After five, six months, you start seeing the hair grow and it starts looking more natural day by day. But um, there is no scarring, at least from what I can see. It will keep you posted in the next couple of months. Let's see how this turns out to be.